Welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today let's take just a few minutes to discuss RFI into your radio and your sound card. Stick around and we'll get right to it. So for those that haven't been following the channel very long, a quick uh, recap of events here. Uh, I've been running the Raspberry Pi in my Jeep for about, uh, I don't know, a year and a half, maybe just over that. And when I first put the Raspberry Pi in the Jeep, it was mainly to run Winlink. Uh, that was my primary goal. I did have uh, FL uh, Digi installed on it so I could do some PSK31 and whatnot. Uh, but primarily, it was uh, mainly just to run Winlink. So when you're running Winlink on the Pi, uh, time is not really critical. Uh, if your clock is off on the Raspberry Pi by a bit, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, your email may show up looking like it came from the wrong date and time, but you know the email still gets delivered. So uh, then fast forward a little bit, and I started uh, last uh, late last summer, early last fall, playing with JS8 Call. JS8 call, much like FT8, requires critical timing in order for messages to get delivered. So since the Raspberry Pi does not have a real-time clock, anytime uh, you shut it down, uh, reboot, anything like that, your clock is off. So to overcome that issue, uh, you could have done a, I could have gone a couple of different ways with it. I could have added a board uh, that gave me a real-time clock. Uh, but I thought it would actually be a little cooler to add a GPS to the Raspberry Pi. So I went ahead, bought a GPS unit, got it configured, installed, and uh, I, I had accurate time at that point. Now, in the beginning, I had run the Raspberry Pi underneath my driver's seat in the Jeep because that's where the body for my 857 is located. So after adding the GPS, uh, in my infinite wisdom, I decided that the Pi needed to be up closer to the top of my vehicle. I drive a Jeep Wrangler with a soft top, so I'm thinking if I put that Raspberry Pi right on top of the roll cage with the GPS plugged into one of the USB ports, that's going to give it a great shot of the sky. I won't have any issues with my GPS locking on. So... I go ahead and proceed to relocate the uh, Raspberry Pi to the top of the vehicle. Fast forward maybe a month or so, uh, I had used the Raspberry Pi a little bit for some digital modes, but hadn't messed with it too terribly much. Uh, life was just busy at the time. I hadn't done much uh, mobile radio. So uh, I get back out there and I start messing with it again and I'm noticing the signal link every time I transmit is chattering. All right, now if you've ever owned a signal link, uh, you'll know that if you get chatter, that's an indication of RFI. So, I, and I've ran into this in the past. So, easiest solution for that is a couple of ferrite beads. I went ahead and added a ferrite bead to both ends of the cable. Uh, both for the cat control and for the signaling, better safe than sorry, right? All right, I'm thinking I've got this uh, situation under control. I fire everything back up, hit the transmit button, chatter, chatter, chatter. Hmm. All right, well, if one ferrite bead is good, more must be better. So I double up on all of my ferrite beads uh, on every cable going back into the to the radio or to the signal link. Fire everything back up. Chatter, chatter, chatter. All right. I've never had this kind of problem with RFI, but I've got more ferrite beads. I've got some big ferrite beads. So I go and I grab my uh, large ferrite beads and open them up and proceed to wrap the cable through these ferrite beads three or four times before closing them up. That will solve the RFI problem. Fire everything back up. Chatter, chatter, chatter. All right, what's going on here? This is a crazy amount of RFI. 
something has changed. I'm scratching my head. I can't figure this out. So I go and I find bigger ferrite beads and I put the ferrite beads over my ferrite beads. That'll stop it, right? Well, as you know by now, no. Chatter, chatter, chatter. So what's one to do? I went to Google. What keeps out RFI? A Faraday cage. So I do my research and I construct a Faraday cage. So I take this Google monstrosity Faraday cage that I've researched and I put it over all the cables coming in and out of the radio. Fire everything back up. I'm convinced I have it solved at this point. Hit the transmit button. Chatter, chatter, chatter. <sighs> All right. I'm convinced at this point, this is no longer an RFI problem. I have a demon-possessed radio or signaling. So what's the appropriate steps? Well, I call the only priest that I know. He came right over and proceeded to perform an exorcism on my radio. Sprinkled a little water on the signaling on the radio, blessed everything off. I'm good to go. Thank you, sir. He leaves. I fire up the radio, hit the transmit button, chatter, chatter, chatter. Okay. Um, what now? So I'm scratching my head and scratching my head and scratching my head. I scratch my head for two or three days before the light bulb goes off in my head. Once this hit me, I knew what the problem was. When I had relocated the Raspberry Pi to the top of the roll cage, I effectively installed two roughly six-foot antennas between my Raspberry Pi and my Signalink and radio. How dumb can you be? No, they're not technically antennas, but they were six-foot long USB extension cables. Bad idea. So I pulled everything apart, eliminated the six-foot USB cables, moved the Raspberry Pi back to underneath the seat where it originally began, plugged everything up, double-checked to make sure that the GPS unit was getting a signal. Now, because at this point, the, the GPS is under the driver's seat, sitting on top of the radio. There's no way this thing's going to get a, a signal from the GPS orbiting the Earth. Wrong again. It locked on within like 30 or 45 seconds. I'm tracking multiple satellites. Okay, well that's good. Now the ultimate test. I fire up the rig, hit the transmit button, and I don't hear any chatter. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Long story short, well, maybe not short at this point, but minimize your cable links between your radio and your computers and your sound cards. Every time you increase the length, you increase the opportunity for RFI to get back into the system. I should have known this. It just went brain dead when I was moving this thing around. What can I say? All right, if you enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And uh, no, we really didn't sprinkle any holy water on it. In fact, I never called a priest. Uh, nobody wants water on their radio anyway, right? Okay. Well, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Found a little humor in it. Uh, don't do dumb things like I do occasionally.
we will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3. Started messing with it. I wanted to go ahead and add JS8 call to the Jeep. Ugh. Blew up my nose. Man, that thing's loud.